construction process. Mm -hmm. You know the construction parameters. Actually, the model is allowing you to evaluate all the parameters that are included there. So if there is a study done to yeah. optimize the thickness, yeah. you can use the model to optimize the thickness. But the thickness is not limited only with the early age. It, you should also consider the long life of the weapon yeah. cycle of the weapon. Because the cars will pass, and the depending on the number of the cars, of the axolot, you should take it in this my son is that actually, uh, so far, what you have shown is the optimization of the instruction, the technology portion, uh, so that you get uh, no cracks. Yeah, you minimize the risk of Yes, yeah. but there is also other uh, optimization logic, actually. Uh, if you decide about the thickness of this, mm -hmm. Uh, pavement. If you have it very thick, it's too expensive, but it can serve longer times. Yes. Uh, is it included in the optimization? Well, it doesn't mean if it is very thick, it will serve for longer and longer time. But <coughs> it is. It should be included in the study where the right analysis for study. Yeah. So when we are starting the thesis, we are supposed to do one for the early age, and the second part will be like a study. But because of the time limitations. Now we are, uh, we are doing this part on this, so maybe stand up with continue this section part, which is much easier than this part in terms of analysis and uh, terms of uh, modeling, but still. Yeah. So the thickness is defined by the uh, load uh, estimate load, loss probability, mm -hmm. and uh, the technology is defining uh, the optimum not to have it crack. Because if you, if you are going to have it thicker, mm -hmm. it does not add much to the longevity. Well, I, I don't, I haven't read any study. If you have, if you will increase the thickness if you long, for example, instead of 20 years or 50 years, 100 years, I don't know. Maybe the, these kind of studies are existing, but I don't know. I can ask this question. I have another question too. In fact, uh, uh, I, I, uh, when I drove uh, on Ashtarak Highway, that makes that sound. Actually, it reminded me, when I was driving in the United States, uh, from Newport News to uh, uh, New York. Mm -hmm. I, I can't tell which highway was that. I, I don't remember the number, etc. But... Uh, I'm sure it was uh, constructed of separate blocks. Separate blocks were put there, and you just feel how the, the car was just uh, uh, bouncing the next block each time. There's also yeah. tech, tech, tech. But, but these are separate blocks, totally separate. separate blocks. Here it is not separate blocks. Here, the, they cut at the surface, not yes, at the yeah. bulb. Uh, yes, at the bulb. But uh, on the road uh, in the United States, I think it was uh, just uh, separate, separate slabs, separate blocks when, put there. When you do the cut here, for eventually example. it becomes a block, right? Uh, yeah, if you put a cut here, for example, yeah. it, you are forcing the cut to appear here. Yeah. Not appear somewhere else, somewhere else. So they will not, well, mostly they will become some of the separate ones. But what you are telling is maybe they are a cut block which are put in yeah. this technology yeah. is applied here. And My impression was that, or it was like that, it was because of the cuts, they were separated, these blocks. But the separation was so distinct that actually it was kind of moving like this. And it was not pleasant at all. Yeah. It was not pleasant at all. It was kind of like moving yeah. that separate box. Each time you are kind of doing this kind of movement. And you don't feel the same in Svarnos airport parking. Yes, airport parking is the same. It's a precast solution that is used in precast stuff in the state. But in the state, they are using. Now it's not too much. Some some states uh, even are avoiding the use of this technology. Others state that like promoting 
but it's used, it's not everything free cash, but some part of the slab is free cash, and after that, John will then we will mix concrete on site, no, in situ, in situ but here is not this technology. This is mainly used in some states in, in America, mainly in the south part of America because of the weather conditions that are very hot, Texas, you know, like this. It's another kind of solution. So it's not a very good technology? No, in my opinion. <laughs> Is it going to become like this after that cracks penetrate? No. 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 Mm -hmm. Totally different technology. Well, this is you. Uh, as we have at the beginning, we have monolithic, yes. Uh, yeah, we'll yes. Then when you uh, and uh, before that, uh, you put uh, tie bars and steel bars inside. So there is rebar. Inside. So uh, well, yes, at the joints. Yeah. So what is for for what is that? The first to avoid of this. Uh, uh, yes, different, different, yes. Thermal so, expansion. Yeah. yeah. Well, the movement, not thermal expansion. The thermal expansion is very little. And uh, so they are um, work separated and together and, and they are bonded, yes? So you can't have the same situation that you see saw in the US. So this is different technology with different advantages, yes, and different, a different uh, uh, if, if we put something in, the, in these cakes, or well not in these cuttings, in joints. in joints, it would be better, I don't know. Yes, we could. We could. What? Bars. Bars? Yes. To connect one with co the Yes. Oh, you mean uh, inside. this, uh, this inside. Uh, yes. joint? Yes. yes. To well, avoid the joints. Is. My but to avoid, with the continuous bending, you avoid the joints by reinforcing the whole slab. In this technology, you only reinforce the, at the joints. Yeah. Just 50 centimeters to the back. Okay. In the continuous, you have... Oh, we don't understand today. Oh, what is your question? Okay. <laughs> the question should be perfect. No, no, no. F, uh, if, is there anything, any solutions for to avoid it, to put some things behind it. Avoid what? The difference? Yes, setting? no. Um, I have one question. Are you, is the cutting profile, is it square? Or is it circular? No, well, you will put it the top of the machine, but it can be on the edge. Uh -huh. because okay. something this is. Ah, okay. Because usually I, if it was going to be like this. No, actually it's it is square. something like this, you know? If you yeah. look uh, closer to the, how the cuts are, how the well, cuts are look, something like this. I mean, not perfectly. Uh, if it was going to be square, I would expect the crack to form at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Especially in the Maybe if you, we are just reducing the strength of the surface. Maybe the cup will be all with the hands. Do you want to see? Perhaps I could share some lights on it. The initial cut is uh, to about a third of the depth of the slab. It's done with a thin saw cut. And the opening, the, the square opening, is, is cut later in order to allow a seal to be inserted to stop water penetrating. And uh, yeah, one more question. Uh, so this is a situation where there is no ice. And with ice, with the thermal expansion and uh, the phase transfer, uh, everything uh, uh, goes uh, much worse, which, which you can see right now on the joints uh, on the Kiev bridge. Please pass that Kiev bridge now, and you will see there are joints there. But because of that uh, ice, formation and the uh, negative temperatures, freezing temperatures, uh, that, that ice formation have just cracked that places and all that is just, uh, uh, mm, these cracks have uh, made something like a big pothole. So it's, uh, it's all different. And uh, these kind of cuts are sources for that kind of potholes. If you do not have a feel 
for instance, a rubber field or some kind of some something something like that. They have in the field. They are filled. They are filled, they are filled yeah. but, yeah. but they are not filled and flattened. So you fill that. They're filled with either the bituminous material or uh, rubber, which wouldn't support the tires anyway. When is the ideal country for this kind of country? ideal? temperature or ideal country. Oh, no, no, I think depending on the... Here, I feel all this, yes. No, no, I feel all this discomfort when I'm driving. Uh, which, in which country it's, it will work better? So, so maybe let me jump in. Maybe not, not so much of an expert in pavement design. Uh, <laughs> In general, I think this, this kind of discussion is fascinating because there are so many aspects of this. Any of us as uh, drivers of cars or even pedestrians walking across uh, bridges where we can see uh, ice uh, propagation and cracks. It, it is fascinating. I think that uh, I'm happy, as, as I mentioned in the introduction, uh, as the dean in the college here, that we have students who graduate who go on and are, uh, like any kind of PhD work, getting very deeply uh, involved in one aspect of what is obvious, a very, very broad uh, kind of design and implementation um, challenge, and one that probably extends much, much, the, the whole domain extends much, much beyond everything we've talked about today. Uh, again, I'm not an expert at all in this field, but I imagine uh, the, the, the world has many, many, many alternatives, and as we heard, different ones have different uh, costs, different benefits, and, and, and they work in different weather conditions and different uh, climatic conditions and all the parameters, many of which, uh, many of which you mentioned, uh, Rosmin. Rosmin, maybe if I could ask you a more kind of fundamental question. What next? Is there uh, future work 